For those who will go on to do theater after uh, Exeter, this is going to be tough to beat. It keeps surprising me by ways in which it's benefiting our students and our program. You come down to the Goel Center and you don't have to worry about your math test coming up or your biology grade or any of that sort of things. But you come here, you're able to make a film, watch some dance, perform, do stuff that people really love to do. It feels really great to feel like my school supports something that's so important to me. Walking into this building and having those spaces, it felt like the school was saying, please dance, like we want you to dance, we want you to do this thing that you love. The Goel Center is a testament to uh, the institution appreciating the arts and valuing them as an integral part of a holistic curriculum. It teaches us to be creative. It's an amazing statement. You know, we can become adults early and to be playful, but work hard. Uh, I think that's how you come up with innovative, spirited ideas. Our first performance in the Goel Center was Midsummer Night's Dream, and it was a three-way collaboration between the theater program, the dance program, and the music department. That was a big show, for sure. 70, maybe, kids all involved. I think there were 130 costumes. Uh, concert dancers often are not used to working with actors. Those are all new skills that uh, were challenging during the term, but then when it all came together, the students' faces were really lighting up on stage. Just being in the same space and like feeling supported, like there were like theater people out and they could hear us tapping and they could hear the music playing, so they're kind of watching and like cheering us on. And it's like little things like that. When we're all in the same space, we can even if we're not collaborating, we can still support each other. It was pretty electric in there. Uh, we never did a show on that scale really before. Another thing lighting-wise that's been very nice is spotlights that can actually move anywhere you want them. So we've got all these movers that are so awesome. They provide so much more flexibility. The plus of that is we can have that much more time on the acting and on other details of the production. So uh, we don't have to sacrifice all that uh, labor time. In the film lab itself, we have like state-of-the-art computers, um, monitors for us to watch films on. It gives a more professional feel for our filmmaking classes. Having two dance studios is new for the program at Exeter. It allows us to have simultaneous rehearsals, so we're much more efficient in the production of our work, and therefore we're finishing the creation stage sooner so we can dive a little bit deeper into refining ideas. Those proxemics are really everything sort of generates a, a cool collaborative vibe, not just in the rehearsal process, but in the, in the actual show itself. I think it's important to have the students connect with folks from the community. For students and uh, our community to be able to respond to um, professionals in the field that we now will be able to host on the stages in the Goel Center. I think what we've, we've already established is that just by doing more productions, more shows, that's um, going to change everything. We're really making our own high quality films or our high quality videos. To see that much interest in dance from all different levels, people of all different dance backgrounds, that was really encouraging and I hope that that like, excitement and like, passion towards dance continues. Right now it feels very sort of limitless that there's no ceiling. Yeah, we're really lucky. Really lucky. <laughs>